hey friends welcome back so in this video uh, i will uh, teach you about uh, the tool about the key feature tool which is a link to story so let's start it once you click on the link to story tool you will find a uh, layout where it uh, it's asking us to fill up a form uh, so that it can uh, scrap a story okay and uh, in the right side you will uh, get a tutorial for now it is a uh, currently blank because the video is being recorded okay so let me close it for now okay so if you scroll down a little bit and you, uh, you get an option choose your storage type first of all so if you don't understand anything uh, 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 while uh, setting up this tool for the first time then you can click on this i button and you get a lot of information about what to enter or what what not okay so uh, for now uh, let me show you so first of all it's asking us to uh, asking us to choose our story type so first now uh, let me tell you what is single story uh, and what is bulk story if you click on this uh, i button uh, then you will find if you open this link uh, you can find uh, you can find a lot of web stories available on this particular url so that's why it's called bulk story and what is a single story a simple if you click on any one of these story then uh, you will get a lot of uh, slides containing uh, its content so uh, that's why a single story uh, it's called and there is only one single story i get, i hope it uh, clears your doubt about bulk story and single story so first of all if you want to scrap a single story for example we have this uh, we have this uh, story for now and we need to scrap it we want to scrap it so uh, for that you need to select the single story then click on this copy the source website then paste here then uh, it's asking us to uh, select the number of slides you want to scrap for example uh, it gives us the option to 20 slides so if you want to uh, like as you can see there are a four for it and 12 so there are 12 uh, slides available on the source website uh, story URL. so if you want to scrap a, uh, only seven or eight uh, slides then you can select it here then uh, another option is a add city button uh, what is city button city button is a call to action okay if you want to show your uh, city button in all your all of your uh, slides then you can add it here by selecting this all slide and if you want to show only on the last slides then you can select the last slide which is a better for uh, web story uh, so recommended by google so next one is the swipe up link or uh, the same call to action link of uh, this website so i want to add this url here i need to copy and paste it here okay so next one the call to action text like swipe up lawnmower etc so for now let me select uh, lawnmower or you can add anything and that is suitable for your audience so next one is the remove text from story uh, for example uh, is uh, there is a word in the uh, source source web story uh, content and you want to remove it then you can uh, uh, write put it down uh, here uh, and it will be removed okay so for now uh, i am leaving it blank next one is the selecting category name or adding a category name like uh, i have uh, i want to uh, it is a general and just showing and just showing you so you can uh, add anything uh, here uh, any category name uh, according to your story topics so next one is the color customization uh, actually uh, in the text color customization what is text color customization uh, let me show you a little bit so as you can see in the source website uh, story uh, the text color is white okay so that's why uh, if you want to change this color to any random color or any uh, colors related to your brand then you can change it here so uh, if you uh, let me select it i'll say uh, okay let me select it white and the background color what is background color yeah the background the text background is uh, here as you, as you can see it's just transparent okay so for now i want to select a white text color and with a um, black background or uh, text background color okay so next one is the background opacity if you want to uh, uh, keep this ba ba background opacity with uh, 80 percent 90 percent 100 percent anything you can select for now i want to select it as 100 percent okay so next one is the border uh, border which border if you click on this i button it will tell you everything uh, so uh, the border means uh, the if you find and uh, let me show you another web story so that you can understand it 
ओके सो आज यू कैन सी देर इज ए बॉर्डर अराउंड दिस टेक्स सो दिस इज द बॉर्डर लाइन इफ यू वांट टू सिलेक्ट ए बॉर्डर लाइक सॉलिड डैश डॉटेड डबल एट्सेट्रा यू कैन सिलेक्ट इट फॉर नाउ लेट मी सिलेक्ट ए डैश ओके एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज द सिलेक्ट बॉर्डर विथ इफ यू वांट टू सिलेक्ट द बॉर्डर वन वन पिक्सल टू पिक्सल अप टू अप टू ट्वेंटी पिक्सल देन यू कैन सिलेक्ट इट योर सो इट इज रिकमेंडेड टू सिलेक्ट इट वन पिक्सल और टू पिक्सल अकॉर्डिंग टू योर कस्टमाइजेशन टेस्ट ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज द सिलेक्ट ए आई इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गो विथ योर डिफॉल्ट विथ आवर डिफॉल्ट ए आई देन डोंट सिलेक्ट एनीथिंग और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सिलेक्ट योर चार्ज जी पी एज द डिफॉल्ट ए आई देन यू कैन सिलेक्ट योर चार्ज जी पी ओके so for now i want to select the default uh, just to showcase you next option is the which plugin you are using so for now on uh, stories cover only supports google web stories plugin so let it be by default on uh, next one is the translate uh, text the so in the uh, source website as you can see the text are in the english language if you want to translate it to any your original languages then you can select it here For example, if you want to uh, translate to any French language, then uh, you can select it your French. Okay. So for now, let it be by default, which is English. Okay. So next one is the selected website. If you have a multiple sites linked uh, with the storage cover, then you can select it here, here before uh, clicking on the start magic. So for now, uh, uh, we have only one site linked. So let it be selected by default. And last one is the uh, status of uh, uh, publish or draft. If you want to Um, publish this uh, uh, sto uh, story as draft then uh, you can select the draft or if you want to publish it directly then you uh, you can select the publish option so for now let it be by default publish then click on the start magic as you can see uh, after clicking on the start magic you will find a uh, message scrapping has started and you can continue scrapping that means uh, Uh, as you know, uh, the storage cover supports Task Manager Q. If you scroll down a little bit, you, you will find a records uh, history table where uh, you will find a random uh, task ID and its status and the website, uh, uh, your target website where it will be gonna publish. So and the option to clear, uh, stop it. Uh, as you can see, uh, the status is showing us published. So it's just published. So let's check it out on our WordPress site. The story has been published successfully. so as you can uh, see uh, we have selected white text color and a background uh, with a black color yeah if you click on this yes got it so in this video uh, that's all uh, for the link to story uh, for scrapping a single story now let me uh, teach you how to scrap bulk story uh, for a viral so for bulk story you don't need to change anything just uh, you need to select uh, one single button that is the uh, choose to your story type so first one select on the bulk story and you need to paste a bulk story url so you need to paste a bulk story url let me show you a bulk story url so here uh, here is the bulk story url that means a, a url where a, a, you can find a lot of web stories more than one okay so that's called a bulk story url so you need to copy full url and paste it here then select a uh, number of slides uh, let me select a number of slide 5 or something like that 7 or uh, let's say it's what 7 uh, last slide then quickly setting up this okay text uh, white background black yo okay so i'm selecting uh, ai as a default because chat gpt takes a, uh, a little bit more time okay so translate text to by default english then click on this uh, select everything is default okay now click on this start magic so once you click on this start magic uh, you can find your uh, message scrapping has started and you can continue scrapping so if you want to check the actual real uh, status of this scrapping then you can uh, move to your wordpress website then go to your media library and you will find uh, the images are being uploaded so as you can see uh, if you uh, if you keep refreshing this page you can find a new images getting uploaded to your website directly okay so as you can see the uh, date or timing here okay uh, so it will scrap maximum at the most 20 stories from this website and upload it to your 
uh, WordPress website one by one. So let's check it out. Yeah, the first story has been successfully uploaded. And for your information, bulk story uh, scrapping uh, takes a little bit more time, uh, like 10 to 15 minutes uh, for scrapping successfully. Uh, so that's all uh, for this video. Uh, and uh, in the next video, I will teach you how to set up keyword to story.